So I am super lucky to be working with businesses right across the Waikato. The reason why I love working with business owners is that I think it takes a certain amount of uh, personal belief and uh, self-confidence to be able to go out in business in the first place. I think most business owners at some point in time know what it's like to stand on the precipice of the unknown, to kind of stand out and stare into the darkness and have this moment in your mind when you think, I can't plan anything, nothing's guaranteed, I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know if I'm going to fail. But they take that step into the unknown anyway and they back themselves and they go into business. When I'm talking to business owners, I talk to them about a concept called the business triangle of needs. And what that's really about is based on the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So we start at a base level, which is about safety and security. Then we go to the next level up, which is really about team and community and belonging. And that top level is really all about self-actualization. Self-actualization meaning that you are living at your peak, you're in peak performance. You're like Tom Cruise walking on the tarmac with that helmet under his arm and you're in the zone and everything is just going smoothly. So my role is to help move business owners from that base level of fight or flight or survival mode into a healthy cash flow so they can move up through that hierarchy of needs and really be in their peak with themselves and their team, their relationships with their customers and how healthy and strong their business is. The way that I help businesses particularly relates around the cash flow element. So we know that in business, cash flow is king. Essentially, if you don't have healthy cash flow in your business, then you don't ultimately have a business. In fact, lack of cash flow is the number one reason why businesses in New Zealand fail in the first five years. So what we want to be able to do is set businesses and business owners up for success. So what am I afraid of? Well, like everybody, I have many, many things I'm afraid of. One of the things that I'm personally afraid of is not reaching my full potential and not making my mark on the world. And I know most business owners out there feel the same. They went into business because they want to create something for themselves and they want to leave their mark on the world. But what really frightens me for business owners is me being too late. Being too late and getting to work with them so their business has already failed or failing to a point where it can't be brought back. I've seen far too many businesses fail, whether they've been in business for a short period of time or after many years, ultimately having to close the doors because they didn't know what they didn't know. When you open a business in New Zealand and you go and get your company, the company's office, they don't hand you a guidebook on how to do business. So that's where I step in. It's my ability to be able to come and educate business owners on some of the pitfalls that they can avoid so they can avoid unnecessary failure in their business. And that's one of the things that I'm so passionate about working with business owners. So I've always been really, really interested in business and a passion for working with business owners. In fact, I grew up as a little girl in the rural Waikato in Morrinsville and in Tiaraha, working with my parents as, in those days, acceptable slave labour. My parents have an upholstery and curtain making business. I spent my summers as a young kid on the floor with a couch a modified screwdriver in my hand, unpicking nails from the bottom of couches. And if we were lucky, we'd find some money and that's when we got paid. Or if we were very good, we'd get an ice block at the end of the day. So I know what it is to have a good work ethic. I know how hard business owners work. In fact, I also know what it's like to find balance in business for business owners. I remember most days coming home and our kitchen table would be covered in paperwork. So my parents would work their butts off, not pay themselves enough, certainly not pay their kids. And then at the end of the day, come home and have to face paperwork and getting paid and getting the bills out and getting the accounts done. So if there is anything that I can do in my life and with my career to help improve the lives of families who are in similar situations so that when they get home at the end of the day, they get to be with their kids and they get to have confidence in their business and confidence in their cash flow, then I think I'm winning. And in fact, I think we're all winning.